told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. to have so much fun. <laughs> With season one, we had the challenge of finding out how far we could take Batman and bend it before it breaks. We found out that you could bend it pretty far. The thing that's a lot different for us is that we do a lot of gameplay as Bruce Wayne, which most games are very focused on Batman. In our game, you play both as Bruce and as Batman, so both sides of the identity. Season one was a story about you as Bruce Wayne, seeing everything around you that you kind of understood to make you up kind of all fall apart. The whole Batman mythos is all about Bruce Wayne having his parents sacrifice themselves for him at a young age and our stories about Bruce finding out that his father was actually corrupt. His family wasn't what he thought it was. He's finding out that his company could be taken away from him. The people he cares most about are in danger. His heroes have now really become the people that he now fights. There's a great quote by Harryhausen. The best monster is one you can imagine in repose. In season one, we got a chance to set up some of the villains that people are the most familiar with. But in The Enemy Within, we get to see those villains, those monsters in repose. We're allowing the player to explore a philosophy of a means to an end. Like, how far are they willing to go? What parts of themselves are they willing to compromise to get the job done? Bruce is going to have to realize that the only way to take down some of these villains is to get closer to them. I think as we've seen in the teaser trailer, the biggest new threat is the appearance of the Riddler. Obviously John Doe makes an appearance. We talk about John Doe um, internally as the proto-Joker. Obviously Telltale games are all about choices, they're all about talking, and then every time you talk to John Doe, you should be wondering, is he listening to what I'm saying? He very well might be. <laughs> The thing that I've always loved about Telltale Games is there's a partnership between myself and the game to where I am helping to create my own narrative. The stakes have never been higher than it does with a Batman game because now I'm creating my own Batman. The sandbox goes from here to here. If you played season one and you enjoyed getting to know some of the Batman villains who were a little bit different than you saw in canon, being able to form close relationships with them, befriend them, become their mortal enemies, you are going to have an amazing time in The Enemy Within. Telltale's Batman The Enemy Within premieres this August. The billionaire or the bat? Which mask will you wear?